Today, we have a mind-blowing technology to share with you. Imagine if an AI could listen to your voice, remember its special sound, and then say anything you write in your own voice. It's called voice cloning, and it's going to change everything. And that's not all. We have an amazing example from NVIDIA that shows how this technology works. So let's see it in action. So now you're about to see something incredible with this amazing technology. But here's the really amazing part. Guess how much data it needs to train this earlier AI? Well, it's not a lifetime of recordings, not even close. It only needs a super short 30 minutes of these voice samples. Yeah, just 30 minutes. Now let's talk about the technical magic behind it. Microsoft chose to utilize Meta's LibreLite, an audio library consisting of 60,000 hours of speech from over 7,000 English speakers as the training data for Valley. This resulted in the AI's training set being hundreds of times larger compared to the data used for existing voice cloning systems, as stated in the research paper. When presented with a new voice to clone, Valley divides the three-second audio clip into smaller parts, referred to as acoustic tokens. By utilizing these tokens along with its training data, the AI can then make predictions on how the voice would sound when saying different phrases. The technique analyzes the sound, tone, and rhythm of our voices, which is a pretty complex task. But once it's learned, what can it do? Well, the AI it creates, called Jamil, can speak a message you have written just like a scholar would. Yeah, you heard that right. Jamil can talk on your behalf with scholarly elegance. But there's something even more amazing. Microsoft has done it again with their latest research featuring an AI called Vali. This AI can do the same thing, but at a mind-blowing speed that will leave you speechless. How fast, you ask? Well, not in 30 minutes, not even in three minutes. Well, Vali can do it in an unbelievable three seconds. That's right, just three seconds of your voice is all it needs to replicate it. And let us tell you, it only gets more incredible from here. Well, it is an absolutely thrilling showcase that will leave you in awe. First, we input a tiny three-second voice sample without needing any specific text. The little snippet holds the key to unlocking its learning power. Isn't it incredibly impressive? But here comes the new method that will truly shock you. The way it's said, the timing, everything about it is just amazingly excellent. But we don't want to stop there. How can we truly measure how great this breakthrough is? Well, it's simple. We'll ask someone to read something in their own natural voice keeping it secret from the AI, and then compare the two side by side. First, the AI takes the stage and speaks. Instead of shoes, the old man wore boots with turnover tops, and his blue coat had wide cuffs of gold braid. Then the real person steps up and performs. Instead of shoes, the old man wore boots with turnover tops, and his blue coat had wide cuffs of gold braid. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Here's another example, a prompt for the speaker to learn from. This new technique is simply delightful with a touch of personality. And now, behold the true human voice. You have to admit, it's even better. But let's not forget that the AI's performance was already out of this world compared to what we could do before. Now let's talk about variety. This new technique can create different versions of speech for the same prompt. We can listen to them and choose our favorite. Just listen to how it emphasizes different words. It's so fascinating. But here comes the second amazing feature. This AI can also listen to our three-second voice sample and keep the emotions. Check out this angry version. And now, check out this sleepy one. Well, it's beyond amazing. But it doesn't stop at emotions. This incredible technology can even capture the surroundings and acoustic environment where the sample was recorded. It can also sound like an old, crackly phone conversation. Just have a listen. Now, the big question, can it clone this kind of sample, too? Let's find out together. Oh goodness, who would have thought this would be possible, especially from such a tiny three-second sample? The possibilities are endless. Imagine a world where we can bring back our loved ones who are no longer with us and have them read us books and bedtime stories. It's so amazing, right? We might even have the famous Isaac Asimov reading his own robot books to us soon. The future is full of incredible wonders. Just think about it. NVIDIA's old method needed a huge 30 minutes of data. But now, with one more paper, we only need 600 times less information to create voice samples of amazing quality. 600 times less! 
Take a moment to let that sink in. Let us explain it clearly. First, we compare the new method to the old one using a measurement called word error rate. And guess what? The two versions of the new method come out on top as the absolute best. But wait, it's not just about being correct. We also want to know if the new samples not only sound right, but also resemble the person in the original sample. And the result is, well, wow. The level of similarity achieved is truly amazing. It's like capturing the essence of the original speaker in the cloned samples. The future of voice cloning is looking better than ever. This new technique dominates not just one, but two areas at the same time. And here's the surprising part. You might think those two areas are old methods from a long time ago, right? Wrong. Your TTS and Audio LM, the competitors, are from the same year as this groundbreaking technology. Talk about fast progress in research. If you look at the search results for voice cloning, you might come across articles that discuss how these AIs are being used for harmful purposes. For example, there are cases where cyber criminals cloned a boss's voice to deceive an employee into transferring money to their own bank account. There are also warnings to seniors about bad actors who can clone their grandchildren's voices to extort money. In their research paper, the Microsoft team acknowledges the potential misuse of Valley. They suggest creating a detection model that can determine if a clip was generated by the AI, which could help mitigate these risks. Even if some bad actors find ways to bypass such tools, there are many others who will use this technology for positive purposes. For instance, creating synthetic voices for people with ALS, helping individuals connect with departed loved ones, or accomplishing something so extraordinary that we can't even imagine it yet. So what do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. With that said, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. And if you found this content helpful, give the video a like. See you in the next video. And until then, take care.